Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live. When this is the best small forward build out there, man. You know, a lot of people, I think a lot of people disagree, man, but you know, the way that I like to play, you know, and this is for me, and this is just depending on how you like to play. The way that I like to play is I like to play defense, and I like to, um, you know, I like to be able to hit jumpers, but I like to be versatile, man. And, and small forward is definitely a position in this game that's not for everybody, man. So, you know, it, it just is what it is. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get right to it, man. Uh, this is what I created. I created a small, small forward. Outside, 6'9". Weight is important. The, way, the reason I made him 6'9 is because I wanted him to be able to compete with centers. Because the way that we play, we don't even run a center. We just run a small forward at center uh, at the park or whatever. So, you know, I can compete with centers. I'm strong enough to deal with centers, and I'm, a, I'm able to do a lot of other things. Uh, weight, 230. Weight is important. He needs to be about 230, 232. I don't know the exact, uh, but... Um, the exact weight that he's going to need to be. I think it's 230 because you want to get the bruiser badge. I made the mistake of making my guy 222 for some in inexplicable fucking reason. I did that dumb shit. And uh, now I, I I can't, you know, you can't go back and change it. And I can't get my bruiser badge, man. So uh, that bruiser badge is kind of important. It, let, it helps you get to the bucket. And, uh, you know, you, you, you can actually impact other people. You know, yeah, I mean, you know, wear them out if you're playing program or whatever. Uh, left hand, I, mean, I made mine right handed. Some people say if you're gonna have a shooter, you need to make him left handed, so that's up to you. Uh, dunk hand, make it either. Reason you make it either, because you wanna be able to dunk the ball with either hand when you go into the bucket. Especially with this guy, uh, an outside small forward is gonna have low, low uh, driving dunk anyway. I think it maxes out at like 75. We'll see that in a second. So, you know, you don't wanna, um, you know, you don't want to, you don't wanna be hampered by that, because you wanna keep the ball away from the people. Uh, body length, I maxed out my wingspan and body length. I mean, to me, that stuff really doesn't matter. And, uh, you know, we just went from there. So, uh, let me show you my, my finished, my finished character, uh, as we do that. The finished product, ladies and gentlemen. All right, folks, so we back. And, uh, let me just show you the build right quick, the way that I did the attributes. You can do yours however you want to, but, um, you know, it just is what it is, man. 35% off attributes. I might make me another player in this motherfucker. But anyway, uh, my dude is a two-way star. So with that being the case, obviously, look, this is what I did. I maxed out. The categories I maxed out were jump shooting, athlete, and uh, defender. And I'm going to tell you, you, gotta, you have to max out athlete and defender. That's what I did first. I did these three first, and then I put some in playmaker, and then I kind of went up in inside scoring. So I got 20 bars in, in jump shooter, 20 bars in athlete, and uh, 20, 20 bars in the fin. If you want to build it, you do it like this, and then you put um you put the remaining 15 in playmaker. Now let's see how many bars we got in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I got 15 bars in playmaker, uh, 17 bars in rebound, and the inside scoring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got eight bars in inside scoring. You know, I probably could have distributed. Though. I mean, I wanted to have some inside scoring, but the reason that I put put 17 bars and rebound is because, like I said, I go against centers a lot, and I want to be able to compete down there against them, you know, as far as rebounding. And also, I wanted to get break started. You have to have, in order to get break started, you have to have, uh, I think, 75 defensive rebounding or something like that. So I think that equates to 16 to 17 bars with the uh you know, a rebounder with small forward. Playmaking, it just is not that important because you're not going to be dribbling the ball that much, but your pass accuracy has to be be a certain level. So that's why I have as many bars as I have in, uh, in Playmaker. And then inside scoring, I mean, I just want to be able to make layups. I don't need to make contested layups, you know what I mean? Uh, if I make a contested layup, it's cool, but I want to make a, I want to make smart layups. So if you're, if the guy is, like, it's, if you got a guard on, you probably just go stand and dunk on him, right? But if, the, if there's a defender on the other side of the bucket, you can go up with it real quick. So, I mean, that's all you're really looking for at small forward, especially being an outside small forward. Um, badges, the bank is open. I'm telling you, the bank is open really works with mid-range. A lot of people, I know I don't see a lot of people use it, but it, it works. Drop stepper, I use that for when I when I got guards on me, post operator, all this stuff I got so that when I, um, uh, so when the guard is on me, I can I can actually finish on the rim. I can just post him up and abuse his ass. 
uh, relentless finisher. Uh, I think what, what it was that post spin technician. I don't have it. It's not up here, right? Yeah, post spin technician is really good for when you got a guard on you and you can just spin baseline and dunk it on him or whatever. Uh, step back pro. You know, a lot of that stuff you're not gonna use because your inside scoring ain't isn't high enough. So your, fa your I think my fadeaway is like a 60 or something post fadeaway. It's, it's awful, and I don't think it goes that high anyway. So you don't even really want that. Of course, you need relentless finisher. But uh, you're not going to be doing many contact layups anyway. Uh, screen outlet, of course, when you set a screen at the top, you want to you want to have a higher chance of hitting it. Corner specialist, this is what this is what you really need. You need the corner specialist. You're going to need that out because shots are going to get challenged on the parking, and you just want to be able to knock it down. Don't even worry about it. Fade ace. Now, if you do do a fade away, or if they make you fade, you know, 2K, get 2K, 2K, they make you fade, you know, that's going to happen. So, uh, you want limitless range, definitely, so you can uh, hit from deep, even though those deep shots don't seem to be going going in as much on the park anymore. At least for me, I suck, so you know it is what it is. You want shot creators, so if you have to make a move and, you know, step back or step to the side, sidestep somebody, you're good. This is one of the most important badges, I think, that anybody that's going to play the third position or the big man spot needs. Break starter. When you inbounding the ball on the park, if you got a dude that can take off up the middle, you can hit him. If you get a rebound, you can hit him. I mean, it's, it's that's one of the most important bands, I think, if you're playing the third position. I don't even call it big man. I'm going to say the third position because it could be anybody. Dimer. You need dimer. So if you get an offensive rebound, you can just kick it right back out, and your guy has a high percentage chance to make it. This is one of the most unselfish. These are the two most unselfish badges you can have. A lot of people on the park don't even have diamonds, so I'm passing the ball to them, and they get the extra boost, but they pass the ball to me, and I'm just I'm just ordinary uh, ordinary shooter, you know, so I don't like that. Flashy pass, I just got it for the, for the, just for whatever. Hesitation stunner, I'm not dribbling enough. Killer crossover, I think I just got that. Lob City passer and uh, Lob City finisher, you know, those are pretty good. Lob City passer you're going to use because... They're going to hold you on a lot of dunks, so I wouldn't even worry about it. Spin, ki spin king pin. You know nobody spins on the park unless you just uh, got that number. I think it's one number one spin. Defensive crasher. You need this one. I think everybody should have that one. Uh, chase down artist. Got to have this one playing the third position because, you know, you, you are responsible for, for – um, for protecting the rim. And a lot of times, the guard is going to get by you. This chase down artist, like if you're playing a guard, you're playing a three-guard rotation, you can defend the guard on the perimeter, but you're not going to be able to lock him down every time. So the chase down artist helps out a lot as far as, you know, as getting back in the position to make the play. Eraser. Hey, eraser is great because this allows you to, to, to almost be the big man without being the big man. You, you get to be the rim protector or what have you. These two, I mean, this one, lockdown, per, lockdown perimeter defender. You're going to need this just so that when you're in the area, like if sometimes, you know, you, you get a guard on you, you speed, he's speed boosting you. Just being in the area, he's going to take down his shot percentage. Pick dodge, I love that. Pick pocket. You need pick pocket so you can get on their X game when they cut into the rim. Sometimes your man going to get beat on the perimeter. You know you can't really block a whole lot of shots as a small forward. You know, you get the X game up. Uh, lockdown post, post defender. Again, you're going to be playing the third position 90% of the time, man. So... You want that lockdown post defender so you at least have a chance against center. Sometimes you're just going to get shit on by centers. It's just going to happen. Brick wall. This one, okay, so using this build to get brick wall, you're going to have to, um, in your season, if you, if you use the build that I'm using, you're going to have to boost your athleticism to get the extra strength in order to get brick wall. So just keep that in mind. Um, Lob City finisher, like I said, that doesn't matter. Posterizer. For some reason, they let the guards and centers just dunk on everybody. Small force can't dunk on anybody, but, I mean, it's cool to have. Transition finisher, you want that so, so you got a better chance, you know, if you're on the outlets or whatever on the park or whatever. I'm going to come back to this one. Closer, you know, you want to be able to finish games, cool and collected. You know, you, you never get never get shaken. Defensive anchor is a great, great, great badge because every your whole team is going to play better because you got defensive anchor. Uh, enforcer, you know, uh, a wreaking havoc. I mean, I fire the shit out of people. You got to fire the shit out of them centers sometimes, man. Harden, you know, you know play play tough. Uh, we don't we don't care about fatigue. Ain't no fatigue on the thing. Uh, legendary work ethic. Eh, whatever, man. You know, I, he gives you 100%, 10% off. I don't care about that. Low ego. Player willing to sacrifice achievement for the, uh, you don't got to worry about that. Prime. Oh, oh, it's prime time. Prime time player step up. Um, when playing the games that are considered highly, oh, we don't care about that. That you're gonna get that road dog. It don't matter. Unpredictable. I definitely have that. You know, um, I, I think that really doesn't matter. Now, this badge right here is one that I really feel like matters on the park more than anything. I don't even know if the emotional badges work on the park, but I feel like it does. Beta dog. I mean, a lot of people probably have alpha dog. 
I'm saying I'm playing the third position. I'm not going to get the ball as much, right? So, uh, you know, I feel like Beta Dog makes me feel, be makes me play better because damn near everybody on the park got Alpha Dog, right? I have Beta Dog. So when the Alpha Dog comes out and shoots and misses a damn jumper, you think about it, you're always going to be playing third position, right? So the guards always, uh, guards, the two, for, the two guards are the, the first two people playing the first two positions are going to be the Alpha Dogs, right? If you the beta dog and they shooting shitty, they having a bad game, then I always notice, oh, it just feels like it to me. If if I play with Brutal Sims and, uh, and Nunu, when they having a bad game, I can't miss. I cannot miss. If Brute comes out and misses his first two shots, Nunu comes out and misses his first two shots, it's like the beta dog kicks in and I'm just blazing. I mean, it's, it's crazy, man. I don't know, like I said, I don't even know if emotional bands is working or not. Or maybe it's just me thinking I just got to step my game up. But it feels like it works, man. So that's why you. That's why I'd rather have uh, beta dog than alpha dog, especially when you're playing the third position. Like I said, those are the badges, man. Um, let's get down to the, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Animations. My jump shot is, uh, I like, uh, this is what I've been using, man. Mike Jordan, Mike Jordan on, um, oh, this is Mike Jordan on quick? Huh, I thought I had Mike Jordan on normal. Well, I've been using Mike Jordan on quick. I thought I was using Mike Jordan on normal. I'm using Mike Jordan on quick. Good thing I didn't know it because, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I usually shoot it on normal, but I've been hitting it so much with uh, Mike Jordan on quick. It's crazy. Uh, free throws, obviously, I use I use the underhanded free throws, Rick Barry. I, I, I think you just piss people off on the park, kind of get them out. Dunks, man, I just got the, the extra regular basic dunks. Obviously, you want the under the goal, the under the bucket ones. I don't use no back scratches. I don't have nothing else but the under the uh, under the bucket and the straight arm tomahawks because I just am not trying to get blocked. You drive, Like I said, your driving dunk is already really low, So and I like the Drexler just because he just takes on off. But um, your driving dunk, it's already pretty low anyway, so so you really don't you don't want to take a chance. I use Melo for the layups just because his, his layups are are pretty good. All the rest of this stuff don't matter. This pregame shit don't matter. Ritual, uh, uh, yeah, we back to jump shot. Okay, I'm gonna show you that in a second. Uh, park animations don't care. Signature styles, uh, contest. I just have normal. Uh, I, I thought about changing to contest the dirt, but hey, I don't want to do that. Contest is just normal or ordinary mic. Uh, you got. Uh, dribble pull up. I think I did change my, my dribble pull up to Mike. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I did normal dribble pull up. So, uh, spin jumper. Uh, that's normal. I think everything else is normal. Uh, hop jumper normal. You, I mean, all of this is just up to you. Uh, post fade. I did Mike. Um, post hook. I think I just did Kareem just to fuck with people. Uh, but you're never gonna shoot that. This shit is gonna be trash. You're not gonna hit it. Uh, Man, all this stuff you're not even going to do because, like I said, you're outside small forward, shimmy, shimmy three, uh, whatever. Uh, let me see. Dribble posture low. I just did that just, just because. Iso crossover. I got crossover two. I think that's damn near what everybody else got. Uh, behind the back. Uh, behind the back two. Spin is spin whatever. Iso size up. I'm trying to think which one I got. I got Jamal Crawford for the size up. Uh, uh, I got guard one. For the for the cross, just so I can get that use that move to make make all that space and all that good stuff, man. My damn turbo, my turbo button is messed up, so you know, uh, and guard one, guard one. I think this is pretty pretty standard. I mean, all this is up to up to interpretation, man. But let me just show you something right here. Once you get your guy going, and like I said, I'm using Mike Jordan on quick. I didn't even know it. Mike Jordan shot. As soon as he gets that ball above his head, um, as soon as he, it, it's just like right. Like right here, as soon as it gets above his head, you want to let it go. If you're playing off lineup, obviously you wanna you wanna let it go when it gets above his head when he gets ready to uh, go back the other way with it. But I mean, to me the shot is money. I get greens. Uh, I get I get a pretty good amount of greens, man. Let me see what I'm playing this on, just so y'all know that I ain't bullshitting you. Uh, let me see options. I am playing on Superstar. I got it on Superstar Casual. I think that's one one above the park. Superstar Casual. So, you know, I, I really don't believe that the, uh, I don't know. Hey, I think the park, park probably on fucking Rookie Casual. Who knows? But, uh, you know, I got the corner specialist. You know, most of the time, what, what this guy will allow you to do is you can literally just go camp out in the corner, right? And so when, uh, look at Monkey King. Shout out Monkey King. But um, you pretty much just go camp in the corner. 
That's all you do. You go camp. You go camp in the corner right here. And uh, when your dude drives, when your dude drives, most of the time he'll be open to kick it out to you. And uh, you just you just light him up for three. And if you see him driving from the other angle, and you just come up, you come up top right here to the to the long elbow and splash. I mean, that's just that's that's really gonna be your job. And it doesn't get any easier than this, man. Shoot it off the glass if you're at, at mid range and all of that good stuff. Like I said, you still got enough you still got enough ball control to still do. You you still got enough ball control to to really do anything. But I mean, the, the small forward they just made him so slow. You know what I'm saying? You're so slow that you really can't. You're not, you, 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 obviously you're not first option. So it just is what it is, man. But anyway, that's my small forward build. I think, um, again, I wish I had made him 230. If you make him 230, then you can get the bruiser badge and uh, the bruiser badge is kind of important so you don't get beat up too much so you can get to the hole or whatever. But, um, and I mean, whatever jump shot, you know, some people like all on quick. I like Mike Jordan on quick. And the reason I like Mike Jordan on quick is because the visual cue it's, it's just so easy to get. But anyway, man, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope this helps somebody out. If you're getting ready to build your small forward, let me go back to the attributes. If you're getting ready to build yourself a small forward, there you go. Max out. Uh, if you just want to go and try it out in the park, max out jump shooting, max out your athlete, and max out defender first. And then then put the put the 15 in playmaking. And then you can actually get out there and compete. And then, uh, you know, uh, you know, once you get your playmaker up to here, up up to uh, 15 or whatever, then you put, I put eight, like I said, I put eight in uh, inside score, put 17 over here and rebound it. And, uh, yeah, 15, 17, yeah, there you go. And then, you know, you'll be good to go. But anyway, hope this video helped you out. And uh, we're out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy's, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People Temp. Tell them what they are, Jay. Holla. Holla. 360 out here, man. We are, we out of here. Peace.